How's it going YouTube? Today I'm at my parents house. I am building a desk for my computer because right now I just got it set up on the kitchen table at my house. I do have a desk there. It's in the basement though. I'd rather not have to go down the basement to be editing YouTube videos. So I'm building a desk to put upstairs. So I have everything set up on the kitchen table at home. Um, I measured it out and it's exactly 20, 20 by 40. So I got this piece piece of wood here that we had laying around. I cut it, I cut it down. I got it, I made it a little bit deeper. So it's 40 by 24 now. Um, and right now I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do for legs because we don't have a whole lot of wood here. Um, it's just a desk to hold up a computer. So I don't think, I don't think it's gonna be super, super sturdy. We'll see, see what I come up with though. I gotta, I gotta think about it for a minute. So I've got four legs cut. Um, I just cut one and a half inch square legs. Uh, I just I ripped them down on the table saw there. Um, I'm just gonna go one, two, three, four in each corner. There'll be a cross brace going here, and then I got up that extra piece of plywood I cut off over there. I'm gonna cut down to length so it'll be fit in between the legs. And then I'll have a little shelf on the back here so that I can I can plug like all the power bricks and everything, put the power strip up here. That way there's nothing on the floor for me to be kicking and unplugging or whatever. It'll be all it'll be all on the on the back of the desk here and I won't have to worry about it. So I have to sand down each leg because after you, after I rip it, there's this is a fa these are the factory edges right here. Um, they got a little bit of a rounded edge, and after you cut it, leaves a square. You can leave it you could leave it square if you want. I'd rather not because it's it's a kind of a sharp edge when you caught on it. So if I just by sanding it, it also makes it look a lot nicer than this. This makes it nice and smooth, soft, um, makes it nice, so make a nice rounded edge, take the curse off a little bit, and it also makes it look more like a square versus this is, I mean, this looks a lot better to me than this, so. So I've got all, I've got all four legs sanded down now. I put little marks on the end, ends of them, so you can see where the centers are. I'm gonna pre-drill holes in each leg so that way when I run a screw down through it'll I make sure I get it in the dead center. I'm roughly gonna go I haven't decided yet I'm roughly gonna go um, four inches in from each side. That heater is really obnoxious. I'm gonna go four inches in from each side roughly I think. Maybe I'll change it I don't know. But I think that's that's roughly where I'm going to put them, and I'm going to pre-drill the plywood, pre-drill the legs, run a screw straight down through, so that's the plan. So 
So I've pre-drilled holes in the corners of the uh, plywood. One, two, three, four. I'm going to sand it all down. As you can see, I sanded some of it. So I got it all sanded down. It's nice and smooth. Got all the corners, rounded the corners. So not that sharp. Um, it's got all these holes in it from what it was before. I, I could have bought a brand new piece of plywood, but I just figured I'd use up I'd use up what we had at the house because uh, this was all used from building uh, tables for Legos. We had um, we still have them. There's actually a YouTube channel dedicated to Legos, uh, but this was a, a sheet that was left over and I figured might as well use it to build myself a desk because I, I, I needed a new desk. Now I'm going to screw the legs through the top, so we'll three inch screw right down through. So I've got two of the angle braces cut. I got two two of the braces right here. I got two of them put on already. That's what that's what it's gonna look like. And so I'm gonna have same thing matching over here. Then from this one to this one, there's gonna be a piece of plywood going across. Here's the desk standing up. I got the last piece right here. I'm just gonna stick it in just like this. And now I have a little shelf back there and then I'm hoping I can set the power strip up and whatever other blocks that power bricks, I can set up right here. That way I don't have anything on the floor. We'll see how, it, see how the thing actually goes. But for now, this is what I'm gonna leave it with. I'm gonna screw that in, but that's what the that's what the desk looks like. I'll I'll put a picture up. I'll or maybe I'll take a video when I get my computer on it, and we'll see see how it looks all set up. So this is what the desk looks like with the computer on it. It's a little wobbly side to side. I think I'm gonna have to add a little um little angle brackets probably back back here at the back. You can see see a little better, probably little piece of going going down an angle right here. And same thing over here. That'll that'll strengthen it up quite a bit. But other than that, I mean, you can sit here and use it no problem. It's not not really an issue. It's only if somebody bumped into it, and if, and if I didn't have the computer sitting on the desk, it probably wouldn't be that big of a deal. But I like to be able to look at it, seeing how it's got a clear clear case on it. Can't really see it with the monitor on but kind of see in there but I'd say that's it for this video thanks for watching